Hmm. It's more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. I know they're all alien. I mean, this one's freakier. Dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! He'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax! Roll. No! Very well! Peter! It's okay, he'll land on his feet. Uh, I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of dogs! scut busting ass bladders! I am not familiar with these words. Filthy grunt scum, but don't I think he's scum making them up. He's really pissed. You can rot, you free bag and farkle! At least he's not shooting at us. He missed on purpose, right? Order the beast to do its job. Rocket, come on, man! Cram it, fast face! Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want 10. Okay, deal. I'll take it out of Groot's cut. He doesn't understand money anyway. <laughs> Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. You even think of pulling that Wait. scud again? Wait! up, people! Incoming! <laughs> I have yearns for this battle! I will face all of Lady Hellbender's beasts! Maybe she wants to be a little bit of a Kill goes to me! Well then, start squatting! It is acceptable to ask for help, Peter Quill! Stop! Watch the stingers! Only thing worse than a bug is a flying one! Kill me one, Quill!
as well. Where the flock are we? Just look around. There must be a path here somewhere. Why are we so sure this is the way? Surprise, surprise. Another statue. I'll take weird statues over weird monsters any day. We're in the business of selling monsters. Not statues. Yeah? I'm also in the business of not getting killed. Kind of a side thing I got going. They do. All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. Fifty units, as it ain't. He doesn't have fifty units. No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure, she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Ah, I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Sekhar Nine. Ha! <laughs> that, that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. Gamora, mind cutting us a path? You say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships? Or one Chitauri infiltrator. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Now what's the whole thing? Fear. No. Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Being fruit of the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and Plan B, okay? Anyone else feeling ready to move on? I am Groot. Groot? Just... Go. No, you just go. Someone go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. He does it.
Groot says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. Yeah, I got it. Uh, guys, anyone know what that is? Monster! Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. Let us settle. Let's scale this down, contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodents' lives. Perhaps your magical mask can relieve us of this senseless searching, Peter Quill. Huh. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. So, where are we? Waiting for you so we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Giving the old girl a scan? I agree. Maybe part of the ship's still functional. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, Assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. Nova Corps weren't my enemies, tracks. They were my father's enemies. <laughs> See anything useful up there? If that bomber's full of old dead Nova, maybe we should, uh, you know, 
Lighten their pockets? By now, scavengers would have scattered the bones across the region. If you're lucky to find a finger, let a woman intact the body. Did Thanos teach you this? That one? I taught myself. What's that I hear? The wind cables calling down to us? They want a date with your sword, Gamora. Really? I can cut those cables, I just need a way up. No giant monster. All good. Maybe this hell lady is some old war hero and she can get Nova off our backs. I wouldn't bring up the war. How come? Those of us who took part are not eager to relive its memories. That. A little more help, Gamora. What would you do without me? That looks like a good spot. All right. I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It's a reactor. Drax, you still out there? Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. We got it, Drax. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. Need your muscles again, Drax. This wreck is so rusted out, you can hardly see the blue. Long time since the war, and this place is all kind of wet. Feels like yesterday, in all the worst ways. Agreed. Look real good right here. Understood. You think any bodies are still in there? All mummified and stuff. What next, Peter Quill? This brings back memories! Mm. Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. Oh, right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops, here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. There it is, Lady Hellbender's fortress. Got bigger, that's for sure. Looks like there's a way down here. Quill, you gotta see this ship. Behold, Lady Hellbender's wrath. Even the Chitauri feared her. They didn't fear many back then. What's Captain distracted up to now? If he calls us over, I'm done. Whoa, 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 guys! This is totally pile of crap on the ground. So interesting. Let's all stick our fingers in it. I can hear you downwind. I can hear you downwind. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. Oh. Oh. Slimy. Uh, guys. You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam, boys? <clears throat> you think? Son of a schmack breach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! 
I don't know. My blasts, they... I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoid tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls Scott like this. I, I, just, you, just... Leave just the guns me, alone! Me, I, I, Quill, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic. Or sorcery. Guys! I could some kind of morphing animal. Or sorcery. Here we go again. one, Peter. Let me end it. My blade will not be silent, murderess. Call me that again and I'll murder you. I am not the enemy, traitor. Guys, guys, chill out. Stop fighting each other. We'll win this together. Just focus on the enemy in front of us. Chill out and share the winning with all of us. So who's with me? This is gonna be fun! Let's... Climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of. I need to get up there. I'm thinking we can climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. The planetary.
<laughs> Wonder if we can get anything to pop out of the side of that wreck. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. Impossible. It will not stay in place. You couldn't just hold Drax. Can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. I, I cannot hold that in. It. Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. Drax, can you drag out that higher cannon? Impossible. It is too far from the ground. Come on, Quill. Let me get a look at them guns. No! You're not tinkering with my only means of defense. Fine. I'll swipe them next time you're asleep. And I'll be sleeping with them under my pillow. Mora, think you can squeeze into that tiny rocket? I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship, full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That. Oh, Scott. Ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Block it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Look at it go! He must have jump-started the thing. Rocket, you okay? Yeah, and dry now, too. There, now we have our way up. If I never see another one of these ships again, it'll be too soon. On that alone, we are agreed. Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Doesn't tell you much. Depends whose head. Ever met a regalian? <laughs> yes, their heads are ridiculous. <clears throat> Careful. It might be playing dead. I don't get the Lady Asian deal. She's a glorified zookeeper. Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? I could throw. Touch me again and I paint these cliffs gray. Okay, okay. No throwing and no shooting. There's got to be another way across. We'll just look around. In many ways, this planet reminds me of my home world. If we can't get across it, maybe we can go around it. Looking for cracks, caves, or crevices, people? I feel like I've heard you say that before. You know, you guys should take my ideas more seriously. The fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but is too stubborn to admit it. In that case, Quill's the greatest explorer I ever met. Yeah, just 
you know, turning water into ice. I used to believe that the rodent had the most impressive firearm in our group. I think I can see my house from here. What are you doing up there? Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we uh, need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. Beast ain't running back to mommy to tell on us. Should have aimed for its head, Gamora. At least I took an appendage. What did you do? Hey, that thing is like seriously broke. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if it just keeled over and died somewhere in the jungle after all that damage I caused. You think it died of excessive bruising? I bruised it as well. <laughs> Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh, anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Where is it coming from? Oh, what the flark? Oh, not talking. <gasps> not even breathing. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. That is disturbingly fragrant. I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Later. Why would it taste like that? We can use this. You know, we really got to work food? on your taste, but The cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our their monster peacefully walking beside us? We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you You're whispering? It? Bro, don't pet the tentacle thing. Gamora thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is leader.
get him, Tiger! I am trying to destroy! Now is the time to start preparing to kill! Mount your head! You are coming with me. We better hurry. Uh, first rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet! You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. Hey. I just went through the same crap you did, and I smell amazing. Ah, sure you do. It's my sexy hero, Musk. That thing heavy quilt. Surprisingly light. If we put our monster in it, will he shrink as well? Uh, no. It would compress anything inside to a mound of twitching bolt. <laughs> Neat. Don't get any ideas. Deep <laughs> freeze. Whoa. Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the Monster Queen, how much are we asking for our monster? 395 million units, give or take two. One for every precious hair follicle on this flawless body. You have counted them. It is bizarre. Hey, at least I have some to count. of us gonna get jet boots. It takes years of special training to operate these things. Groot says we should check things out over here. Oh, Seknarf ain't never heard of roads. Groot, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. don't go well with Lady Eight. We're gonna fight a monster queen? She would be a formidable adversary indeed. Lady Hellbender isn't her adversary. If all goes well, she's gonna be our business partner. And if all don't go well? Then we'll know we should have sold Groot instead. in line for the throne if Lady Hellbender has an accident. Perhaps she is immortal. Nobody's immortal. Not even death herself. <laughs> Can't believe you just said that with a straight face. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Nice. Every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far, 
What if we'd been towing that thing when Nova Corps intercepted us? They would have taken our beast. See? This is working out. Sure, in a kind of bumpy, chaotic way, but we've still got a plan. Infinity Bridge is what it is. Are oh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not perfect. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting the flarkin thing is looking like we need business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Remind me again. How many missions have we been on so far? Thirteen. Fourteen, if you count Contraxia. Contraxia was not a mission. It was a mistake. All right. Point is, is I was able to sell you. Gamora, daughter of Thanos, intergalactic assassin. As a hero. Fourteen times! <laughs> Fine. I think he's made his point. <laughs> Dra- Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as a leader. Oh, come on. <laughs> She's got you there, Quill. Now shut up and start pulling. Will you stop worrying so much? You're gonna start growing knots again. Okay, here we go. Have like a campfire song or something we can sing to kill the time. Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. Right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 0 0.6 clicks. clicks. Myself. 